Hooah, hooah, hooah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers Generation 1 video review. But before we get started on the figure review, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I just passed 750 subscribers, so thanks. I'm definitely doing something right. Now, as the title said, this is going to be my last video for 2018. Christmas is coming up. I've got family coming in, so that's what I'm going to focus on. But don't you worry. I'll be back stronger than ever in 2018. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when I upload some more videos. Now on to the figure we're going to review. During the last month, I got a lot of repro labels in. I got a lot of Siege figures in, but there was one toy I totally forgot about. The Generation 1 MicroMaster Missile Transport. I found this for a steal on one of the Transformer Facebook groups. I mean, this thing usually goes for 100 plus. I got it for 25. Granted, it was missing one piece, but I found another Facebook friend who was able to hook me up for that piece for only like six bucks. So I'm quite happy with that. So without further ado, let's take a look at the 1990 Generation 1 MicroMaster Combiner Missile Transport. <laughs> The missile transport is a transformable battle rig driven and commanded by two MicroMaster combiners, Retro and Surge. Surge! One of the things I like best about the MicroMaster transports is all the pieces and parts can attach in vehicle mode. And if you're a MicroMaster fan, you understand how many parts come with these playsets. Now let's take a look at the two combiners. They both attach to the front and rear of the transport and they're called MicroMaster combiners because they can also hook together to form one vehicle. Retro and Surge, Surge! are a repaint of the Decepticon combiner team Stone Cruncher and Excavator. The only difference in these bots is the collars. In vehicle mode, they have rolling wheels. Retro has a crane that can go up and down and all around, while Surge just has a hook that goes up and down. Now to transform the two, you simply pull them apart, and they have that super simple MicroMaster transformation. Simply flip the sides down for the arms, and flip the front around for the legs. And there you go, there is Retro in robot mode. I really like the paint job on Retro opposed to Stone Cruncher. The collars stand out a lot more, plus he's got a painted face. Stone Cruncher has that horrible combination of red and orange that Transformers like so much, so this one is the better of the two. Moving on to Surge, he has the exact same simple transformation. Just flip this around and move the side panels up. And there is robot mode. Once again, a fantastic looking robot. I love the face sculpt. I love the details. And I actually like the way his Decepticon counterpart looks. Both of these guys are painted very, very well. So I don't really favor one over the other with this set. Now on to the missile launcher. In order to transform the missile launcher, the first thing you'll do is take the ramps off the sides, like so, which actually connect into the cannons there on the sides. Then what you're going to do is raise the missile platform, remove the purple cannons, take the black section here, Flip all the way over, then attach the cannons into the holes on the sides. 
Then what you do is you take the ramps and attach one here on the front and the back and there is your missile platform. You can have one of the commanders man the rockets. The rockets themselves are removable. They just slot in. Ah, a little tight though. But they're pretty nice. They're a solid piece and very well detailed. Uh, I like the rockets. Another feature that the missile transport has is that it can also transform into two separate vehicles. First you want to remove the ramps, then separate the missile transport in half. You're going to take the front section, remove the cannons once again, fold these black sections up, and then you're going to place the cannons on the front. Make sure you match the cannons up. There is a left and right. Those will go on the holes there in the front forming a little tank type vehicle that one of the commanders can kind of fit in. It's not great. There we go. The missile launcher itself, you can just angle that down and place another MicroMaster in its cockpit. And there you go. Whoops. See, that kind of sucks. That is not a good seat for a MicroMaster but you get the idea. So there's the two individual vehicles. Another feature the missile transport has is the fact it can attach to other MicroMaster bases, such as Hothouse's fire station, which is one of the main features of the MicroMaster's playability. And there you have it guys, 1990's MicroMaster missile transport with Retro and Surge. Surge! Now I just have to see if I can find some decals for this guy. So does the Generation 1 MicroMaster missile transport belong in your collection? Only if you're a hardcore G1 completionist or a MicroMaster fan. Other than that, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not worth the money to track down. Yes, it's cool, but the figures are just repaints and the missile platform itself... Eh. So, there you go. There's my thoughts on that figure. And guys, from my family to yours, I want to wish each and every one of you a very, very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo Hey, I really appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos that I've done on Generation 1 Transformers, Modern Era Transformers, and Toy Hacks Retro Label sets. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. Hoo-ah!